My name is Randall Callanan, and I am an attorney for the Hernandez family. And today, along with uh, attorney Troy Chandler, we are announcing that the Hernandez family, the father, the mother, the wife, and the daughter have filed a civil lawsuit against Terry and Chana Thompson for killing their loved one, John Hernandez. This case was brought in a Harris County uh, District Court. The daughter is growing up without a father. He was the sole breadwinner in the family. And somehow we must make up for that to protect her. Because John, in life, protected her, and now John is not here anymore. So it's going to take many people to protect the young daughter. One of the uh, things in our lawsuit, which has not been revealed before, is a witness who was present at the scene and said to John Hernandez as he was dying, shut up, we are not letting you go you already can't breathe, so stop making noises. That indicates she knew what was going on. She knew the dangers, yet moved forward. And I'm going to pass it now to uh, Troy Chandler, a great lawyer. That's why I chose him for this case. There were many lawyers who wanted to step forward, but looking at all of them, I wanted Troy to handle this case. Let me make one thing clear. The statement that Randall just read was made by Shauna Thompson to John Hernandez. We think it shows uh, that she knew exactly what they were doing. I've represented crime victims for 15 years. The civil case is separate and distinct from the criminal action that we will not participate in. This is just to make sure that Alexa is taken care of. Somebody has to step forward and do what John would have done and that is our only goal here. How, how can you explain how you're going to do that considering the family doesn't have a lot of estate? They rent their, you know, are you trying yeah. to get for retirement? I mean, what, what, what's, where are you going to find money? Yeah, fair enough. So a defendant's ability to correct for what they've done is limited to their assets and their ability to do so. Fair enough. Uh, I'm not going to take it for granted that they don't have that. And I'm not going to take it for granted that if if and when they choose to file bankruptcy because a judgment is rendered, that this judgment won't be accepted from that bankruptcy. It's not uncommon for judgments related to criminal conduct to be excluded from a bankruptcy proceeding and follow that person even after a bankruptcy proceeding. So if they choose to go that way, that's fine. But we're not going to take it for granted that the Thompsons don't have some ability to take care of Alexa and try to make right what they've done so terribly wrong. So we're not going to take it for granted. So are you saying, like, you haven't found any reasonable assets, that, but you think there might be some out there that you're not aware of? Or, or kind of, because you checked a million dollars, and if you cover this at all, you realize there's no, you know, it's not obviously visible. Yeah, so, so I have a phone conference after this with our investigator who's on that very thing to try to locate anything and everything they have. One thing they do have is an ability to make a living. So even if they don't have assets against which the family can proceed, they do have an ability to make a living. So you're looking at if, I guess, for some reason they're found not guilty, for example, and they can go on with their lives, you can garnish their wages in the future? Certainly. I can't imagine a not guilty outcome in some criminal context in this case. Uh, whether it's guilty or not guilty, though, the civil system is different. Everybody knows of very good examples like the O.J. Simpson case, for example, uh, where civil remedies are pursued even though the criminal uh, remedy didn't work out. So the answer to your question is yes, we can follow them for a long, long time. Yeah, they, you can uh, follow um, a judgment for the entire life of the individual. So it's possible that if they do not have assets now, uh, they may inherit assets later and get assets in a 
in other manners. Are you, are you not filing the case by not naming the Sheriff's Department or some more obvious entity? Well, uh, in this lawsuit, we are going to be researching uh, the case through this lawsuit, and it is but possible that in the future such will happen, but it's not contemplated at this moment. Are you confident that this will follow through depending on once investigation comes out of what exactly led up to it, who exactly started it? Could that be a problem when it comes to the civil lawsuit? I don't care who started this. Even if we accept everything that Thompson say is true, that that has been reported in the media, that this started because according to the Thompsons, John Hernandez was urinating in public. In the city of Houston, that's a $209 fine, not a death penalty offense. And it was not upon Mr. Thompson to play judge, jury, and executioner for something that amounts to a traffic ticket. There was an armed security guard on duty. All he had to do was go to the armed security guard and ask this be taken care of. The force he used was extremely disproportional to what John Hernandez could have done that day. So whether we accept everything he say is true or not, it doesn't matter who started it, only who ended it and how they did it. What are your thoughts? I guess the couple had their first court appearance this morning, uh, probably some standard bond conditions. Um, how, what do you guys think about this initial, their initial court appearance and how this is, things have transpired within the last you know, 10 days or so? Well, the Harris County District Attorney Office was very thorough and very swift in bringing this before a Harris County grand jury. The Harris County grand jury then deliberated on it and decided that both Shauna and Terry Thompson should be indicted for murder. A grand jury is a group of citizens of Harris County and they made uh, this decision based upon the evidence that they have seen and based upon the number of witnesses that showed up. It apparently is more than what we've seen so far in the media. So apparently there is other information and other witnesses uh, which helped to indict the Thompsons for murder. Do you have any indication if the Thompsons belong to any white supremacist group in that region of uh, Houston or not? We have no information on that, no. And, and you guys, uh, I know you, you folded that part in the, in the civil suit, but you believe there is definite cause for the murder charge to stand and not manslaughter. Can you explain a little bit about that the premeditation part? Well, murder requires intent and knowledge. Uh, based upon the mixed martial arts training of Terry Thompson, and I would assume his wife knows about that training, that shows some indication of intent and knowledge. Furthermore, the statement I made that a witness overheard Shauna Thompson saying, you already can't breathe, so stop making noises. Who doesn't know that if you don't breathe, you could die? So that indicates a knowledge of him in severe danger, yet they continued uh, to assist her husband in holding him down and preventing him from breathing, which caused his death. The idea that any adult in the United States does not know that not being able to breathe causes death is ridiculous. And for people at home who may be asking why, why this lawsuit, again, explain what this is for the family when it comes to sure. picking up the slack for Dr. Hernandez. Alexa Hernandez is three years old. She has a long life ahead of her. Somebody needs to do for her what her father would have done were he here. He was the sole breadwinner of the family, and somebody needs to make that right. The criminal system is different, and we're going to allow that to proceed however it works out. But we have our job to do, and that's to take care of Maria, Alexa, and to make sure Mr. and Mrs. Hernandez get some answers about what happened to their son. Does that answer your question? Anybody in the family like to say something? You know, John, can we move the mics over? Well, um, the immediate family members won't, but do we have a, uh, let's see. Um, I thought there was one other adult. Is there an adult in the, uh, what, what's the lady there? No. Okay. Did you want to say anything? Can we move the mics closer if we do? Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Okay. Let me just move these pen marks down. Sorry. Great. Thank you. Thank you. 
gracias a todos por apoyar en nuestra lucha. Uh, no tengo palabras para agradecer a todo, toda la prensa, a toda la gente que nos ha apoyado. Uh, esperamos que todo esto termine bien. Primero Dios. Muchas gracias a todos por apoyarnos. Señor Hernández, ¿qué lo motiva a hacer esto? ¿Que su nieta esté protegida? Sí, que mi nieta tenga... Pues se quedó sin padre. Póngase usted en mi lugar a ver qué te diría. That's, that's, thank you very much. That's all. From the let, me, let me say one more thing to the media because you've been incredibly helpful in helping us find, for example, a witness we spoke to this weekend who's quoted in the petition. If anybody else is an eyewitness who was there that night, please contact the Harris County District Attorney's Office uh, and let them know what you saw. Thank you very much because you all done a great job getting the word out. Are you, are you guys still looking for more video or photography? I, or, or you absolutely. Know? That's that's not going to stop. Absolutely. No. But you haven't come up. The, the witness that we spoke to this weekend took a 10-second Snapchat video that she she gave to us, um, but we haven't come across any any new one. What did she show that Snapchat video? Uh, I think KHOU showed it actually. Yeah, it's already been shown in the media. It's the one. It's where, a different angle. Yeah, it's the one where you can see him underneath the bench, through the bench underneath. I know you're still looking and investigating it, uh, whether you're going to file against the sheriff's department. Do you think? that they were fair in the way they handled and uh, investigated the case? Uh, the Sheriff's Department uh, has not been uh, fair at all. They treated uh, Maria uh, as a victim at the scene. They kept her in the squad car. For four hours, they took her phone. They did not call homicide or any detectives to the scene when, this, when John Hernandez left the scene near dead and then later uh, did die. So what we see here is uh, a big problem, and one of the biggest problems is in order to cover up the injuries to John Hernandez, the deputies at the scene called up the Harris County District Attorney's Office and said that John Hernandez should be charged with a crime, but they left out the fact to the District Attorney's Office that John was near dead, because of course if uh, the, the Harris County District Attorney's Office would have known that there's somebody near dead, they might have asked, well, how did he get that way? Did someone assault him? And so we see basically evidence uh, that the deputies at the scene wanted to protect their deputy friend, Shauna Thompson. And with them leaving through the magistrate's court in a different way than a normal person would leave? What's that? And with them leaving after they bonded out a magistrate's court rather than walking out the front door like everybody else leaves? Well, I mean, uh, if someone is charged with a, a crime they can arrange it with a bonding company to go through a walkthrough, and that's available to everyone, so I see no special treatment there. But do you think, I guess, I think, do you think it was more the folks on the scene also conscientiously try to keep some of the facts, not only from the DA's office, but also from perhaps the upper management of the sheriff's department? Or do you think the upper, you know, I mean, where, where does that... Uh, as I mentioned, it was the scene deputies who did all these things. However, it did take quite some time, and only through public outcry, that the uh, Sheriff Ed uh, Gonzalez uh, moved it to the district attorney's office like the uh, public and the activists had, had requested. Thereafter, it wasn't until there was more media coverage and more outcry that Ed Gonzalez announced that there would be investigation into eight scene deputies. Thank you. Any more questions? You're doing Spanish? <laughs> if my law partner were here, yes. law partner does, but he's yes. not here. So. He, did, he was a professor in uh, Mexico for some time, so he could do it. I can. Okay, so unfortunately. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you.